Now, your most accurate forecast from the First Coast News weather team, sponsored by AC Designs. So there's going to be another high tide cycle this evening, especially for those over southeastern Georgia. And I mentioned that because you certainly had more significant coastal flooding than anyone else around northeast Florida or southeastern Georgia. Nothing compared to what happened over the uh, Big Bend and Nature Coast. But still a concern, certainly understood. Uh, there's sort of a clue here. See the tropical storm in the symbol? That's actually what the winds are doing. And the winds this morning, because the hurricane was here, we're blowing onshore and piling into the estuary there of Camden and Glen counties. But now, not only is it a tropical storm, but the winds are blowing from the land and then pushing offshore. So at the very least, that means this evening's high tide will not be any worse. And actually, uh, meteorology pretty much says it should not be as bad. But then that should be it as, again, the core of the heaviest winds and even the southwest side of the tropical storm winds. Watch how they exit off to the northeast and then finally offshore. For those of you thinking about traveling north, if you have an option, I wouldn't, especially talking about I-95 or even from the South Carolina coast up to Columbia. Uh, they are dealing with very heavy rains in addition to the gusty winds, but that will be offshore by about sunrise, even offshore of North Carolina. Then, uh, what about the rainfall? Again, there it is. There's the heavy rainfall totals that have been off to the northwest and north of this hurricane, this tropical cyclone all along, and that's going to continue until it gets offshore. Many of you have been wanting, wondering, uh, probably not wanting, but wondering, uh, because you do your own forecasting, might this thing possibly hook back to the U.S.? I think that's looking less and less likely, but even if it were to do that in some form or fashion, it would take over a week. So we'll say a 1% chance it's going to do that. Even if it does, that would take over a week. So let's talk about what we think is going to happen over the next week with Lee. And it's also good news for the rest of the tropics out there, too. So we are tracking a lot right now. Hurricane Franklin out there, but it's moving out to the east away from us. It is still a category two hurricane, though, with sustained winds of 105 miles an hour. We also have a tropical depression out there. Tropical Depression 11. It will likely not strengthen into a tropical storm. It's actually Franklin here that will likely absorb it. So also Tropical Depression 11, not an issue for us. Look at this. There's another thing, or another low pressure squeeze between these two. That's the remnants of GERT. Only a 10% chance of that developing and a medium uh, medium chance of this low pressure system developing that's moving off the coast of Africa. So no concerns for us right now when it comes to the tropics once we get done with Idalia. And it is going to bring a windy conditions overnight tonight. We'll have gusts for 50 miles an hour, especially for those of you in Camden and Glynn counties. But that's going to drop down to about 20 mile per hour gusts overnight tonight. Then tomorrow we warm up high near 90, drier for the afternoon hours than about 40% coverage for the evening overnight tomorrow night and then we could also get some more rain lingering into our Friday. So again about 40% coverage 40% of us seeing some rain on Thursday and then on Friday we're going with the 60% coverage but you want some good news. We deserve good news and I present you with this long holiday weekend forecast which will be sunny. Now we are going to be warming up highs will slowly climb back into the upper 80s and then into the 90s next week. All right, Lee, thanks so much.